Our medical team has prescribed peptide combinations alongside GLP-1s to over thousands of patients. And here's why they're exploring this approach. I'm Dr. Jones DC and I lead the coaching department at our GLP-1 clinic where MDs and NPs are handling prescriptions and this is what they're seeing. The thing about prescription medications is they're powerful. They're tested and yes, they have side effects. Drug interaction studies do exist, but they typically focus on the most common combinations and so many combinations are not explored at all. When you're on multiple medications, your doctor has to carefully consider these interactions Actions, there really isn't a research guiding their decision. The standard medical practice. Now, peptides are very different because they're signaling molecules. Your body already makes them just in therapeutic doses. Our medical team sometimes prescribes multiple peptides together because they're working through natural pathways. Now, to be clear, this doesn't mean peptides have zero risks or that combining them isn't automatically safer than medications. Although I'm comfortably saying in most cases they probably are, it means they're working with your body's existing communication systems, like AOD 9604, studied for fat mobilizing effects. The results have been mixed with clinical trials, but we get such good results combining it with therapeutic fasting. And then there's CJC 1295 with IPA for growth hormone support. These are prescription therapies that our doctors use based on available research and clinical observation. And here's what matters. Any peptide therapy requires proper medical supervision from licensed prescribers. This do it on your own biohacking thing. If you're not pairing it with solid nutrition and training and a foundation, then you're not going to get the results that you were looking for. And in many cases, you're going to waste a lot of money. Learn about medically supervised peptide protocols and follow us for more.